Today, I'm going to show you how to take a look at the networks that your ads are running on. Mostly the Google search network compared to the search partner network. Uh, but I also want to talk briefly about the display network because some people are running campaigns that are targeting search networks and display networks, which is not a good idea. So uh, I can tell that this campaign is targeting search and display because of the icon here for the campaign. This tells me it's a search network with the display network enabled. Oh, I can also tell this by segmenting the data here. So if we go to segment and network with search partners, this is gonna split up this information. It's gonna show me uh, the cost and the clicks and everything from the Google search network, which is google.com the search partners network, which are other websites other than google.com, which I'll explain in a minute. And then also the Google display network, which are again, other websites, but the display network is what you think of when you think of banner ads. Now, because the search network and the display network are so different in terms of targeting ability and ad performance, you really don't want to be running these in the same campaign. So uh, the, the first thing I do here is really take the display network out of this campaign and set up a separate campaign for display ads if that's the intent. If I want to be running display ads, they should be in a separate campaign. So to turn these networks on and off, what you can do is go into the campaign, go into the settings, and then take a look at networks. And then here is where you would turn off the display network. And you could also turn off the Google search partners network. You would do both of those here. If you click save, then the ads would stop running on both of those networks. Uh, let me get into some more specifics on the search partner network. And I'll show you another campaign that has some better data that we can look at. Uh, when it comes to the search network versus the search partner network. Um, so the, the search partner network, to give you a brief example, is uh, eBay, for example. If I go to eBay and search for toilet paper, down at the bottom of eBay, we see these ads. These are not for products that are on eBay. These actually are Google search partner ads. So that's one example of a search partner ad. Now I can't tell Google to show my ads just on eBay. It's either all or nothing. Either I'm going to allow every partner website or I'm going to turn off search partners completely. Another example of a search partner is Yelp. If I go to Yelp and search for food delivery, in the bottom right here, uh, these ads, this Papa John's ad, this Omaha Steaks ad, these are also Google search partner ads. The search partners are a variety of, of big websites like these two I just showed you and also a lot of smaller websites. So uh, I will say usually the search partner network is a good place to be. You can usually get traffic and conversions from the search partner website. And it's usually pretty similar to regular Google search ads. Um, so at least for now, I, my recommendation, and it's been this way for years, is to start with your campaign, start with the search partner network on, and then look at the data. If the data tells you to turn it off, then and only then would I turn it off. So how do we look at the data? Well, let's look at this campaign now. Um, again, if I want to look at the search partner data, I need to segment and segment by search partner. So you can see this campaign has no display traffic. This is just a search campaign. So we're just looking at Google search and Google search partners. Now this is just one month of data. So there's not a whole lot to look at right here. We can see that f for the past month, there's only in this 
second campaign, we've only had one conversion from the search partner network at a relatively high cost per conversion. But this is a very small sample of data. If I'm going to think about turning off the search partner network, I want to see a lot more data. So let me look at the all time data here. And now you see the numbers are a lot closer, right? Google search cost per conversion is a little lower than the search partner in both of these campaigns. The Google search cost per conversion is a little lower than the Google search partner cost per conversion. One thing I always want to look at when I'm looking at long periods of data, I want to make sure it's accurate. A lot of the time you'll get into an account where there will have been an issue with conversion tracking at some point. Either conversions were not getting tracked or maybe conversions were getting over tracked at some point. So to, to do that, I look at this graph up here and I'm going to have one line for clicks and then another line for conversions. And what I'm looking for is whether these are generally uh, even, okay, whether these are basically uh, similar ratios for the whole time that the campaign has been running. And we can see that that they have. They, they have uh, been about the same. None of these months are zero. None of them are 10 times the other months. They're, they're generally the same. If we go back to this other campaign and do the same thing here, this is more of a, a variation. You can see this month the number of conversions really spiked up. And then other months have zero or very few conversions being tracked. And that tells me there's really something wrong with the conversion tracking. And it's not going to be a reliable number to make decisions based on. But here we have a relatively consistent ratio of clicks to conversions. So now if I'm going to make decisions about the search partner network, I know I'm using good data. So the question then is, when would we actually turn the search partner network off? In this case, it is performing worse than Google search. The cost per conversion is higher, but it is not, it's not that much higher, right? It's just a little bit higher. It's really a question of even with the higher cost per conversion, is that still a good result for you? Is it still, profitable for you. Even let's say the search partner cost per conversion here was $50 per conversion compared to $21. Even then uh, it wouldn't necessarily mean we need to turn the search partner network off because we're still getting conversions. And if your average customer value is high enough that $50 per lead is still profitable for you, then uh, then there'd be no reason to turn that off. We wouldn't turn it off just because it's higher than, than Google search. For the same reason, other types of marketing might have different costs per lead. You might be doing Google ads and Facebook ads and postcard mailer, mailers. Well, your, your postcard mailers might have a much higher cost per lead but they're still profitable. So you keep doing them because you're still getting more customers. Um, that's how I look at it anyway. Keep things going if they're profitable. Other things might be a lot more profitable and that's great, but that doesn't mean you have to cut out things just because they are not as profitable. If they are profitable, keep them going. Um, and again, if, if we decide, uh, search partners are in fact not profitable, we want to turn them off, then you'd go into the campaign, go into the settings and uncheck this box for Google search partners and then make sure to save and then that would turn that off. So that's it for the video today. 
My name is Kyle Sellerud, and I'll see you in the next video.